with me Maha in which I'm going to teach you the eight different ways to say yes in Arabic. Let's begin! The first way to say yes that I'm going to teach you is a modern standard Arabic way which is the modern classical standard Arabic. It's Naam. Naam. There's a ayn in the middle. You have to pronounce it well. Naam. Naam. Naam means yes. Also, the second way is a modern standard Arabic way to say naam, to say yes. It's a synonym to naam and it's ajal. 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 It's more classical and more sophisticated. Naam is more used than ajal. But still, ajal is okay. Huh? The third way to say yes is by simply uttering these two letters a. Ah. Hmm? Alif. A uh, and H at the endings. Sometimes this H is not very well like noticed or it's not so clear. There's an H, it's not ah. Uh, it's written as ah, uh, but we we simply say ah. Uh. Mm? This is the mostly used way by me, by the way, to say yes. I use it every day with my mom, with my daughter. In my speech, in my spoken Arabic, I use ah uh, to convey the meaning of yes. Ah, mm, uh, it's also very much used by most of Arabs in the Levantine uh, dialect area. The Levantine area is like the Levant area, the Sham area, which has the Levantine dialect spoken by all Jordanians, Lebanese, Syrians, and Palestinians. This is the uh, Levant area that I'm uh, describing. Oh, most of them say ah uh, in order to indicate yes. Ah, uh. in particular in Lebanon. And sometimes also in Syria, which is part also of the whole Levantine dialect, they, instead of saying a, ah, they might say a. Mm? So the yes for Arabs that come from Lebanon and Syria is a. A. A for us Palestinians and a for the Lebanese and Syria. This is to just like to tell you that even in the same dialect, um, in one dialect itself, there might be some uh, differences and a lot of similarities, but still differences in the same dialect itself. That's why we teachers, sometimes we prefer uh, that our students start with the modern standard Arabic, the one that is learned by all Arabs and understood by all Arab Arabs, and then they can switch once they have learned the basics in the standard Arabic to the dialect of their choice. Um, but I gave you just like this example that ah, it means yes for all Arabs of the Levantine dialect and still it's, it might be switched to a in particular in Lebanon and in, in Syria. Okay, another way to say yes uh, used by most of Arabs and by also us and by Egyptians in particular it's ayywa. Hmm? Ayywa. Aywa, it also means yes. It's like a synonym of a uh, and a. Eh. Aywa. I also use it, even though it's like like mostly used by Egyptians, and I'm not Egyptian, but I still use it. Like uh, um, like I try sometimes with a uh, and sometimes with aywa. There's no particular reason because they both mean uh, like 100% yes. Aywa. Mm? So aywa. Aywa. Another way to say yes is mbala. Mbala, my daughter use, uses it a lot. Uh, mbala actually, it has like an extra meaning, not only simply yes, um, it means but yes. Like if I'm giving you, a, uh, if I'm asking you um, a negative question, um, didn't you eat your, your, um, your snack? Didn't you eat your snack? Mbala is a perfect uh, answer. She's not simply saying, telling me, ah, mama, my daughter in particular. She tells me mbala, but yes. I did. So as an answer to a negative question, mbala, it means yes, but it also means, like in particular, it's used as an answer for this negative question. Okay, I hope you understood it. I don't know in English um, if there's a, like a, 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 something that is similar, apart from saying but yes. In uh, French, I think, I, I learned like just a couple of lessons. Um, I think it's the same. They, my teacher taught me that they have we oui as we oui, uh, as yes, and they have also like a different one that's similar to this Mbala in Arabic, which is Messi or something like Messi, but yes. Huh? Instead of mais oui, they say Messi. If I'm mistaken and you speak French, please correct me. This is what I remember. I, last time I learned uh, French was five years ago. <laughs> Yeah, and it was only a couple of lessons. So anyways, mbala is a way to say yes, 
but it also uh, like um, emphasizes the fact that yes I did it why are you telling me I didn't do it okay it's like an answer yes answering a, qu a negative question by saying but yes the seventh way to say yes is by simply saying uh-huh uh-huh instead of saying ah uh, uh-huh aha uh -huh is very much used it's very much used also by me by many of my friends aha 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 ah and aha uh -huh are both like very like they are even repeat, repeated the same time and say yes aha uh aha -huh, uh -huh. okay aha uh -huh. to symbol alif h and alif aha uh -huh. that's also a yes the eighth and last way arabs uh, say yes is by simply writing this i hope you can read this already if not this is simply a yeah and a scene which are put together and pronounced yes huh? yes so yes we do use a lot of the borrowed words from english or from other languages and we put them insert them in our vocabulary and especially in our daily use i'm not we're not inserting yes in our modern standard Arabic. in the daily use and social media or messaging we use a lot the yes just simply these two letters yes um borrowed from english so yeah these are the eight ways to say yes in our week i hope you like them i hope you will try to insert them in, in your uh, vocabulary and you start using them i i gave you like a note uh, or an or an extra um, information of uh, for each and every one of them so you can use it according to the situation you're put into you can use most of them simply just like uh, alternate between them uh, because all of them mean yes so no problem to pick one or the other um, if you're in a different in a special uh, place or a special area like um, Lebanon or Syria you might hear more the a uh, instead of, of the other kind kinds of yes I told you also the standard modern standard one so pick the one you choose I hope you like these lessons if you did like this lesson please leave a comment below I'm so super curious I read all your comments and I'm curious to know about your feedback uh, of each lesson that I um, create uh, it's very important for me that the content stays uh, serious and important and of use like uh, and useful for everybody who is willing to learn this language and culture and please subscribe to my channel and make sure you follow me on instagram for a lot of my daily uh, updates at maha yakub uh, like my facebook page at learn arabic with maha i hope i'll see you in following arabic lesson with me maha kiss you and ma'asalaamu <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,